Hi guys. Spotted this little toy boat in the works. One of the shops in Yates. Well, they're in all sorts of places. Paid a bit more for it than I normally want to. Two pounds. Well, you can see that big label on it. Two pounds. Simply because I thought it might be interesting to take it apart and maybe modify it. There's three different boats, slightly different shapes. I chose this one because it had got the deepest body on it, or tallest, in case I want to put stuff inside it. And they are pull string operated. There's a little uh, water pump in there. Sucks water in through that hole and blows it out the back there. And I'll just go and put some water in the bath so we can just see it working. And then I'll take it apart. There's only one screw in it and then it opens up. I've put some water in the bath. I've also put one of my metal rulers in the water. Simply for the camera to have something to focus on. Because it's on autofocus. There's nothing for it to see in the bath without that there. And the focus drifts. So I'm trying to make it fix itself, so that when I add the boat, it stays in focus. terribly exciting is it but it is only a bath time toy for kiddies we've established it doesn't work particularly well in the bath good enough for a bath time toy but nothing very exciting so we'll take it apart and see what the chances are of modifying it right, something's holding it in place it looks like there's another screw under there how on earth do you get to that I think that's been glued on after it's been screwed in place. It may have to be a bit um, a bit violent with that and break it off. Well, it wasn't too violent. I just pulled it off with a pair of pliers. But it does mean we've got two broken bits there. But we can now get to that screw. There we are. So we've got a pullback motor in there. Zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, so pull back motor with a pull string on it. I think that's probably been glued in as well. And what we can use to push the shaft through. Well, that was easy enough. I just pushed it through with a paper clip. So that's our pullback motor. And loose in there now is the little impeller blade I suppose you could call it so I'll see if I've got some sort of a electric motor we can mount and go straight through there the main problem I'm finding at the moment is a match for the size of shaft that we need I can use one of my little 3.7 volt cordless motors That'll fit quite nicely, but the shaft is just a tiny bit too small. I've just pushed those two metal rods in there to protect the impeller blade. 
because I don't want to try and remove that plastic disc because it's glued in place and I don't have the right sort of glue to put it back again so I can't take that impeller blade out the way. So those metal rods are there so that when I drill through there I don't drill through the impeller. And that's the motor in place. Haven't actually glued it or anything to the impeller blade or whatever we want to call this thing here. But we are <laughs> through. I've drilled the hole and it fits. Well that seemed to work. I've actually used some super glue to glue the shaft to that um, impeller blade, as I keep calling it. I've got one of my super capacitors here. I'll put a link in the video description as to where they come from. They're not normal capacitors, they're a bit closer to a battery than a capacitor. You can actually store charge in them. This one's 2.7 volts, 10 farads takes a few seconds to charge it and then it discharges relatively slowly compared to a normal capacitor. And if I just hold the wires on there, because this one's got some charge in it, that sounds like that'll work. So I'm going to mount this in here somewhere. Probably needs to go nearer the front than the back because there's a fair bit of weight at the back. And then all I need to do is solder the wires directly onto the tags of the supercapacitor, leave the top ends of the wires from the supercapacitor sticking out the top of the boat, and then I can just connect a battery to them to charge them up or charge it up. I'll take this connector wire off that I used for a different uh, project. I've soldered the wires from the motor directly onto the supercapacitor, drilled a couple of holes so the legs from the supercapacitor are sticking up through the top of the boat. So I'll drop a little bit of hot glue on there to hold it in place. and then put the top back on and demonstrate it. Before I do close it up I've just put a plus and a minus there so that I know which way up or which leg is which on the supercapacitor because that is important. You want to charge it negative to negative and positive to positive. screwed it back together. What I'm going to do now is add a little rudder to it. I've got a bit of tin foil here so I'll just cut the right shape and hot glue it so it goes straight over the um, outlet there. Try super glue first. And if it doesn't work, we'll use hot glue. I'll trim that a little bit because I don't want it sticking down any further than it needs to. There we go. So I should be able to direct the thrust 
three AA batteries linked up here. Obviously there's eight of them there, but I'm only using three of them, so that's uh, three times 1.2, 3.6 volts. It's a 2.7 volt supercapacitor, so that should be just about right. Positive to positive, you will hear the motor spin up because it's directly connected. Negative to negative. When it stops increasing, then the supercapacitor must be fully charged. I think that'll do for demonstration purposes. That certainly works. I think the camera is doing its own focus thing again because it keeps losing. Yeah, it keeps losing the focus. But that works. We'll try the rudder now. Overdid that a bit, didn't I? Still, battery's running down now, or supercapacitor. I think that's a complete success. I'm pleased with that. Obviously, I could have put a battery in there, and that would last longer. But for demonstration purposes, I think this is fine. Lost focus completely, haven't we? Sorry about that. That's the camera trying to be too clever. Great fun. I'm pleased with that.